He feels there's too many pillows here. And he actually does like to bury his head. Yeah, I need to keep the pillows on for the shoot. Hey guys, welcome to my home. So happy to give you a little tour of my home and how things have transpired over the years since we purchased this place 15 years ago. When we first purchased the home, we did like a little mini reno. We painted everything, put in some new tile floor in the hallway, but just recently we did a whole home reno and I'm super excited. First of all, we opened up all the walls. We had a wall between the kitchen and the living room, and then we had a wall between the kitchen and the dining room. So we took out all the walls just to make one open space. Pre-reno, I knew I wanted a new kitchen that had a huge island. We have three kids, so it was really important to me to have a space that felt like I could entertain all our friends and family. We were able to incorporate a 12-foot island by four feet. Really excited about that. As well, a sink in the island was really important to me. We're on a corner lot and we face another house in the back. So I really wanted to not look out my back and I wanted to look out the front and be able to talk to my friends and family as I do the dishes. I wanted to mix up our cabinetry a little bit. So on the periphery, we did a white oak, half inch rail. And then on the island, we did this dark saturated color with a one inch rail. We also mixed up the hardware. We ended up partnering with Maya, which is a great Canadian company. We did these really gorgeous pulls on our dishwasher, as well as our fridge and freezer and pantry over here. And then we did knobs on our drawers, which I really like. I do cook for my family every night because I have to, but I'm not a very good cook. But that didn't stop me from doing an amazing spice drawer as well as our beautiful range, which is actually very convenient with our larger oven and then the smaller oven also that we use on the daily. We also added this lack color in this custom hutch. It's maybe my favorite part of the kitchen. It's kind of my entertaining area. So these are all our dishes when we're having friends and family over and then extra like bowls and plates and charcuterie trays and stuff like that. So we don't use this daily, but it houses a whole bunch of stuff and kind of gets it out of the way and looks beautiful. On the shelves, I like to do important things that are just really special to you and to your family. So for us, this beautiful glassware is from Finland. My family is from Finland and it's just this beautiful texture, which I love. As well, this is from my mother-in-law. She gave me this beautiful vessel. This exact ivy was in her wedding bouquet 48 years ago, so it's super special to me. I think a good high and low is always important, no matter what your budget. These mugs are from Portugal. They were more of an investment. And then these beauties were from Goodwill. I think they're both equally beautiful and they look great together. In our house, we needed to hide those unsightly bulkheads where our pipes go. So what we ended up doing was we furred in our walls four inches on the front and the back of our house. That's what gave us the depth of our windowsill and then our living room window box here. We lost essentially eight inches on our house, but now we don't have any unsightly bulkheads, which make me really happy. Also in our ceiling, we had to put a fairly large beam across our house and the beam did not fit inside the joist. So I was gonna have about a two inch reveal in our ceiling and I wasn't happy about that at all. So this is an eight foot ceiling and we actually dropped the whole ceiling two inches so I didn't have any bulkheads. This might be a little controversial because you're losing two inches on an eight foot ceiling, but I'm super happy with the results. I love this space. I think when people have this home, they do one of two things. They add a living room so it feels a little bit more formal or they make this one really big dining room. And honestly, I just don't think a huge dining table is necessary when we use it two times a year. So we added this four chair seating area and this is probably my most favorite thing about the renovation. My husband and I sit here every morning and have coffee we sit here after dinner with the kids and come and chat. We sit here with guests when they arrive. And when it's Christmas, we'll basically sit around here, open our gifts, chat, have coffee, and just enjoy the space. Because my powder room shares a wall with my kitchen, I wanted a little bit of separation. So we added 
these walls on either side with a little arched opening. And that way when you come into the bathroom, you're in like a little bit of a separate space, which I like. I'm really happy with how my powder room turned out. My favorite part might be the floor. I love a good herringbone and it feels a little bit old world, which is great. The vanity is a floating vanity and then we did wall mounted faucets. That helps with space saving in this smaller footprint. Our family is a place that we live in every night. We watch TV here, which is great. It's just a super casual space, but it's very welcoming. One of the biggest things we did is vault this ceiling. This house has eight foot ceilings, so we were really excited that we were able to vault this a little bit. We added the beam, the rafters, and shiplap. We ended up including skylights, which I love the skylights. It adds so much light, even on a dark day. I love a sectional in a living space, but we just couldn't accommodate a sectional. So we ended up going with two custom sofas. We just wanted to give as much living space as we could. We also included these textured stools, which is great. I really wanted my bookcases to be inset inside the wall. I wanted to bring the white oak from the kitchen and then I wanted a marble look surround. So we used to have a wood burning fireplace, which we really loved. We just didn't like that smoky smell days later. We just weren't loving that after being here for 15 years. So what we did is we transitioned this wood burning fireplace into a premium log gas set. We ended up going with a porcelain product highly heat resistant, which is really great. And because we brought the wall in to accommodate the recessed bookcases, we were able to bring this fireplace out and have this like grand reveal back, which I feel makes this fireplace look really important. Previously, we had a mudroom built into our garage and we got really used to using this space. So I really couldn't let it go for our renovation. I'm really excited about this space because this functions as a pantry, as well as I wanted a broom closet and then a closet to hide all the kids' coats and shoes and boots as they come in and out of the garage when they access the home. When we bought this house 15 years ago, we were really only gonna stay here for a few years but we fell in love with the neighborhood. We fell in love with all the people on the street. So 15 years later, we're still here. I'm really proud of our renovation because I feel like this house is a good testament to how you don't have to have a really large footprint in order to have great design. Our house is 2000 square feet. We still got everything we wanted and I'm so happy with how it turned out.